Welcome back. Today I'm going to Baxter Cycles 40th Annual Open House. Today I will be riding my Royal Enfield out there. And if you have never heard of Baxter Cycles, it is a real motorcycle gem. It has been around for a long time and Randy Baxter has collected a lot of materials from dealers that have gone out of business. And Baxter Cycles is a real treasure in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to go inside, get some water and snacks because, well, this is a Royal Enfield, so anything could happen. And then we'll hit the road. Okay, I've made it to Baxter Cycles. Behind me are all the bikes parked of the people that rode here. There's a Royal Enfield dealer as well as where they store all the vintage bikes. And then they have their Triumph dealership. Across the street is all the bikes that are going to be auctioned off today. And Triumph as well as Royal Enfield are here doing demo rides. I just got done riding one of the new Royal Enfield Himalayans and it was amazing. The most comfortable bike that I have ever ridden and I kind of feel like I might need one of those. I was thinking about signing up and riding the new Royal Enfield 350 as well but after riding the Himalayan I don't even need to. Once we get inside the building and get past the Royal Enfield dealership we make our way through a corridor filled with NOS parts and on our way back to a room filled with vintage motorcycles. This is the real gem of Baxter Cycle. What we're looking at right now is a recreation of the very first Royal Enfield. This was commissioned and built by Royal Enfield themselves. Royal Enfield is calling this bike the origin as this is where their company started. Thank <laughs> you. 
All of these bikes out here are going to be auctioned off today. Not all of them are in running condition. Some of these bikes are projects. In fact, some of them are just almost piles of parts. But if you wanted an interesting old bike, they have plenty for sale today. This BSA is probably the one I was most interested in when I looked at the catalog. Tomorrow, once all these bikes are sold, they will be having a vintage bike show here. Probably four to part over. That's pretty. Oh. That's a BSA. I'm a 4200 on the Vatican to three, three, 4200 on three, 4200 on the Vatican to three. Sold it, for, sold it, $4,200, number seven. Well, this is a little unexpected, but after riding that Himalayan, I have traded my Royal Enfield Continental GT for this Himalayan Scram. Okay, I am saying goodbye to my Royal Enfield Continental GT and hello to my Himalayan Scram. About ready to hit the road and get back home.
Well, I thought I would just stop right here. I'm getting pretty close to getting back to home. I put over a hundred miles now on this new Royal Enfield and it's pretty awesome. I don't think that I would have ridden the Continental GT that much anymore, but I can really see myself using this bike. So if you want to see more motorcycle content, comment below and click subscribe.